Rex spends 500 pesos per month on cigarettes. If he stops smoking and investing the same amount in a plan paying 10% compounded monthly, how much will he have after two years? <clears throat> so this is a monthly um, um, payment. So this means that this is an annuity problem. So the formula for future value annuity is equal to future value is equal to the monthly payment PMT is equal to 1 plus R over N to the NT minus 1 and this is all over R over N so let's make our para parameter list PMT is equal to 500 pesos per month R is equal to 10% or we change it to decimal 0.10 T is equal to 2 years and N is equal to the number of compounding which is monthly so this means that 12 because there are 12 months in a year then we just plug in our numbers into the equation into the formula so this is equal to 500 oh, this nothing so 1 plus 0.10 over n which is 12 to the nt which is 24 so n is 12 times 2 or 24 minus 1 and this is all over 0.10 over 12 so this is equal to So we start in the for, in the um decimal point ten divide twelve plus one and then exponent key twenty four because twelve times two is equal to twenty four and then we subtract one and then multiply it by one five hundred. So this is equal to 110.1954807 and this is all over 0.10 divided 12 is equal to 0 0.00833333. So we divide this 110.1954807 divide 0 0.008 is equal to 13223.46 pesos. So Rex will have 13223.46 pesos if he invest 500 pesos per month at 10 percent interest rate compounded monthly for two years next problem in order to accumulate 42,000 pesos in five years how much should one invest now at 19% compounded semi annually? So the formula for um, compound interest is A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. So we list our parameters. So a is equal to 42,000 
R is equal to 19% or 0.19. T is equal to 5. N is equal to semi-annually. That means N is equal to 2. So we plug in our numbers. A is equal to 42,000. Is equal to P times 1 plus 0.19 over 2 to 5 n 2 times 5 so this is equal to 42,000 is equal to p times let's um calculate this so we start in the middle 0 0.19 divide 2 plus 1 and then exponent k 2 times 5 is 10 so this is equal to 2.478 227613 and then we isolate isolate p so we divide 2.478227613 and on this side 2 2.478227613 and p is equal to Sixteen thousand nine hundred forty seven point sixty pesos. So the principal gonna be sixteen thousand nine hundred forty seven point sixty pesos. Find com find compound interest on 7,500 7, pesos that at eight at four percent per annual annum for two years compounded annually. So A is equal to P times one plus R over N to the NT power. So they give us um P R is equal to zero point zero four N is equal to one. T is equal to 2 years. And P is equal to 7,500. 7, 7, so let's calculate. So we plug in our numbers. So 7,500. 1 plus R is 0 0.04 over 1. And T is 2 times 1 or 2. So this is equal to. So we start with 0 0.04. Divide 1 plus 1 equals. And then exponent 2. And then we multiply it by 7,500. 7, so this is equal to. 8,112. Now they ask for the interest. So this is the um, future value. So the interest, total interest earned, gonna be 8,112 minus the principal, which is 7,500. 7, so 8,112 minus the principal is going to be your interest earned and it is 612 pesos.